So yesterday at about um, midday, half past 12, we received um, a call from News Hub uh, to advise that they had received a call alerting them to a potential riot at Waikiria Prison for yesterday afternoon. Uh, we acted on that um, information immediately um, and we sought reassurance from the site in terms of any issues that were apparent um, and no issues were reported at that stage. A short time later, prisoners in an exercise yard in the top jail, the high security part of the site, lit several small fires. The prison as a whole was locked down as a precaution. So that's the entirety of the site, both the high security and the rest of the lower security jail. Not all of the 20 prisoners in that exercise unit were involved uh, during that period. Um, a number of them didn't take part. After some time, prisoners were able to access the roof and from there they could access other units and assist other prisoners to get out of their cells. In total, there were 21 prisoners who were non-compliant and started to cause damage throughout the top jail facility. Overnight, four of those 21 surrendered. There are those still 17 non-compliant prisoners uh, at large in that top jail environment. They are within the secure perimeter and there is no risk to um, issues from our officers or to the wider public. In total, 212 prisoners were evacuated from the top jail overnight and only those 17 remain in the top jail. There has been an extensive fire damage to the top jail facility and there is continuing um, activity from Fire and Emergency New Zealand to ensure any residual fires are under control. Damage to the top jail facility does appear to be significant and the condition of the buildings will certainly need to be assessed but it is unlikely prisoners will be accommodated there again. The top jail was built in 1911. It is the oldest part of Waikiria prison and it is being replaced by a new facility that is currently being built at the prison and is scheduled to open towards the end of 2022. Today we have started to move some of the 212 prisoners from the Waikiria facility to other prison sites. Uh, it is important for us to ensure that we can do that in a timely way and safely accommodate that in other facilities. I want to take this opportunity to note the disappointment that we um, uh, acknowledge around the disregard for safety and well-being of our staff from those 17 prisoners and for the safety and well-being of those other 212 prisoners who were affected quite significantly by the events of last night. Our total focus is on ensuring that the incident is continued to be managed safely and to be resolved safely. And that might mean that it takes a while longer for us to manage those final 17 prisoners um, out of the site, but we want to make sure we do that well and we do it safely. And so we will be preparing a range of plans accordingly. I also want to take this time to acknowledge the amazing work of our staff, the speed with which they acted, the incredible support that we've received from Fire and Emergency New Zealand, the police and St John's in ensuring this event has been able to be managed without any loss of life or significant injury. And it is as a result of the collective efforts of all involved so far that we've been able to manage this in such an effective way in such swift time.